would you expect, Mr. Spock? It's me, Grandpa. <laughs> and do I have a show for you? We are going to go on an adventure across time and space. So let's go. Igor, Igor, will you beat me down already? Right now. <laughs> Good work, Igor, yeah. <laughs> At least this time, I'm here all in one piece. What do you mean, Grandpa? What do I mean, Grandpa? Don't you remember the time you, you left my heart in Alpha Centauri, you loony tune? Good place for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the time, why do I even deal with you? <laughs> Back to our adventure. What we're going to do is hop right into my spaceship and head out to the outer limits of the universe. And once we get there, we are going to use my electro robots combobulator to intercept waves of light that have been transmitted from Earth's past and future. Oh, I tell you, this is quite a machine, boy. <laughs> Plus, it has a money-back guarantee. <laughs> Some exciting plan, eh, Igor? I don't know, Grandpa. Sounds dangerous. What are you? Huh? A bat or a mouse? Besides, you gotta have some fun in life, kiddo. Besides, when it comes to our safety, you always like to raise the stakes. Stakes? I told you once. I told you twice. Never ever use that word in my presence. Okay. Let's go already. Five, okay, five, let's five, go. Five, four, three. All engines running. Launch commit. Liftoff. We have liftoff at 9.34 a.m. Eastern in daylight time. They really hit the spot. <laughs> oh, so this is the edge of the universe. You know, it's just as I pictured it. Yeah. Look! Igor! Igor! It's my friend, Flash! Flash! Whoa. Please don't, Grandpa! What do you mean, don't, Grandpa? It's my friend, Flash, you nutty bat, you! Hey, Flash! <laughs> Do not the sacred gong sound the final note which completes the marriage ceremony? <whistles> Great God, Teo, is this
You and Dale get back in there out of range. We'll try to hold them off. Hurry before they get through. The clay in that wall, it seemed to come to life. It, it turned into a man and then it ran back into the shadows. Oh, don't be silly. Squadron right on our tail. And the gun flash. I'll try and get him into position for you. You got him, Flash. Direct hit. has told Flash Gordon the secret of your power. The secret of my power? He wouldn't dare. Where are you taking me? To the clay people. Look, Doc, we're heading straight into the beam. address you from the imperial planet Mongo. If you knew anything about the true nature of my universe, you would tremble before it in terror. Insolent creatures. I shall destroy that pitiful, insignificant speck you call your planet. Pathetic earthling. Who can save you now? <laughs> Great stuff, eh, Igor? Yeah. Bye, Flash. Catch you on the flip-flop. <laughs> now, let's go over, you and I, to the Electrobox Combobulator. You know, Igor, I got this machine for my wife. At the time, it seemed like a fair trade. <laughs> you know, I never noticed before, but it was made in Japan, just like these guys. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, alive, surging up from the depths of the sea on a tidal wave of terror to wreak vengeance on mankind. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, it's alive. A gigantic beast stalking the earth, crushing all before it in a cyclonic cavalcade of electrifying horror, raging through the streets on a rampage of total destruction. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Incredible titan of terror, wiping out a city of six million in a holocaust of flame. Just flames cannot destroy it. Bombs cannot kill it. All modern weapons fail. Is this the end of our civilization? Can the scientists of the world find a way to stop this creature? For the answer, see Godzilla, king of the monsters. You may wish to deny it, but your eyes tell you it's true. A tale to stun the mind. More fantastic than any ever written by Jules Verne. More terrifying than any ever shown on the screen. Awesome. Incredible. Unbelievable. A story beyond your wildest dreams. Dynamic violence. Savage action. Spectacular thrills. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Fantastic beyond comprehension. Gripping beyond compare. Astounding beyond belief. The mightiest monster of them all. See Godzilla, King of the Monsters.
say nobody has anything to fear from us. But we are going to control you now. It is the same spaceship you saw near the moon. That should convince you we do not come from your world. We are here to make you our slaves. From the laboratories and arsenals of all civilized nations, the most powerful, the newest, the most devastating of weapons, blast into action in their effort to destroy all monsters. It is 1976. The American merchant vessel Petrox Explorer has just set sail from the port of Surabaya in search of oil. What they find will shock the world. We may be sailing into the history books. They will catch a stowaway. And landing on the beach of the skull, where he heard the roar of the greatest beast. They will rescue a beautiful castaway. She's alive! She's alive! You know, maybe my luck has changed. And they will discover an uncharted island that is the home of the most incredible creature on the face of the earth. A creature called Kong. and Paramount Pictures present the most exciting original motion picture event of all time. King Kong. King Kong, a fantastic adventure. Over the gate! King Kong, a colossal achievement. King Kong, a motion picture filled with sights and sounds unlike anything you've ever experienced before. King Kong. Don't flood the tank! She fell in! With Jeff Bridges, Charles Grodin, and introducing Jessica Lange as the beauty who charmed the beast. And starring the eighth wonder of the world. King Kong. Oh, Eagle, remind me next time we have Godzilla over to the land. Please make sure you have those Danish he likes so much. And to hide the CD player. <laughs> right, right. He did leave that green slime all over my CDs. <laughs> and now, Igor, it's time for, you know this one, in space, no one can hear you.
Sheesh. Whew. Now for something a little less nerve-wracking. Igor, did I ever tell you about the time Wolfman, Frankenstein, and I did a Jane Fonda? <gasps> Why, Grandpa! Get your wings out of the gutter, you dirty old bat! The exercise tape! What a maroon! <laughs> Anyway, Frankenstein went for the burn so strenuously that it took nearly 40 AA batteries to revive him. <laughs> anyway, here is Jane Fonda as Barbarella. Oh, oh, it hurts my back just to think about her. Meet the most beautiful creature of the future. Her name is Barbarella, and she makes science fiction something else. Jane Fonda is Barbarella. Barbarella is a five-star, double-rated astro-navigatrix Earth girl whose specialty is... Love. Shall I tell you what I would like? I think I know. Her top secret mission is a real wing dinger. I got him. Good many dramatic situations begin with screaming. Hand me a garment. See Barbarella do her thing with the nice angel. La, la, la. With the warm, friendly ice man. With the cold, evil black queen. Hello, pretty, pretty. With the charming hand-to-hand -hand Romeo. See Barbarella do her thing in the wild excessive machine. Sort of nice, isn't it? In the biting birdcage. In the chamber of dreams. In the labyrinth of love. In the deadly dollhouse. In the palace of pleasure. find adventure beyond your imagination when you get lost in space with Barbarella. all kinds of movies, but you've never seen anything like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let's do the time once again. Let's do the time once again. The Rocky Horror Picture Show is wonderfully weird. They're probably foreigners with ways different than our own. It's fabulously freaky. It's a trip to transsexual Transylvania. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. From transsexual Transylvania. The story is strange. But tonight is the night that my beautiful creature is destined to be born! The songs are super. The scenery is smashing. The cast.
past is completely crazy. This isn't the Junior Chamber of Commerce, Brad. There's a mad scientist named Frank N. Furter. Come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. And Rocky, his incredible creature. I knew he was in with a bad crowd, but it was worse than I imagined. A sinister servant named Riff Raff. I remember doing the time war. And Brad and Janet. My name's Brad Majors. Just a couple of clean-cut kids. This is my fiance, Janet Weiss. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I wanna be dirty. Eddie. Uh, Magenta. When shall we return to Transylvania, huh? Columbia. <laughs> Dr. Scott. Great Scott! So give yourself over to absolute pleasure. Don't See the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes, it's Vincent Price as that tongue-in-cheek terrorist, Dr. Goldwood. It's an exact reproduction and programmed for love and destruction. A wonderful explosion that destroys not only my love bombs, but their victims as well. His master plan to master the world is seductively simple. But Fabian is one undercover man who doesn't miss a trick. There's only one single thing left between me and control of the world. And introducing Europe's newest and funniest comedy team, Anko and Shichio, who get tricked by... All the general out. What is making plans for... Wild, wacky fun with Vincent Price as Dr. Goldfoot, giving love a hot lip. There's something going on, or coming off, every minute. You like that Dr. Goldfoot, eh, Igor? <laughs> See that ship out there? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. It's my arch enemy, the Plutonians! Ego! Ego! We are under attack! No! All wings on deck! Ego! Ego! Fire! Fire now! Fire! With yes. what, Grandpa? Our electro lasers seem to be short! 40 double A batteries worth of power! This is no time for jokes, Ego! We're hit! We're going down! Beyond the jet plane, beyond the atomic bomb, beyond the time machine, and all the scientific marvels of tomorrow, there is Buster Kraft as Buck Rogers!
thrill as Buck and his sidekick Buddy are discovered after 500 years of suspended animation. Who is this man called Killer Kane? He is the result of the stupidity of the men of your century. Still at the villainy of Killer Kane, the most despicable despot ever to menace the galaxy. There's no time to lose. We must attack Hidden City immediately. Cheer as Buck and Bunny join forces with the heroic rebels of the Hidden City. Is it true that you are revolutionaries? In a sense, I suppose we are. If it's revolution to protest against brutality. I have had enough. Shudder at the frightening vision of a futuristic metropolis. <laughs> as Buck and Buddy venture alone into Kane's evil domain. Quiver as Buck is forced into one of Kane's mind-robbing robot helmets. Is this Buck Rogers' destiny? To spend the rest of his days as one of Killer Kane's lackeys? No! Gasp as funky space cadet Wilma Deering defies Kane and dares to rescue Buck. Never before have there been such wonders. Never before such feats. Never before a movie as amazing, as awe-inspiring, as fast and furious as the original Star Warrior, Buck Rogers. Buddy, you take the controls and keep her as she is. We're headed for the planet Saturn. Yes, sir. You followed his exploits in the comics. You thrilled to them on the radio. Now, come and see it all on the big screen. Before Star Trek, before Star Wars, there is the original interplanetary adventure film, Buck Rogers. The Force has always been with us. Gosh, that's swell. Come back to Buck Rogers. Whew, boy, that was some crash. <laughs> well, at least I was wearing my light a full a suit. <laughs> Ooh, this is one of the most desolate places I've ever been to, you know? It sort of reminds me of Attila the Hun's birthday party. <laughs> Only the lonely. Keep the beat, Igor! Keep the beat! always carries an automatic weapon. The last man on earth is hunting. Because the last man on earth is not alone.
where all the dead were burned. exciting love story from the famed novel by Ray Bradbury. Fahrenheit 451, the motion picture that presents the darling of the stars, Academy Award winner Julie Christie, in a dual role portraying two women in love with the same man. Here she is as Clarice, the ardent rebel, and as Linda, the wife. Sensual, artless, beautiful. Linda? You're absolutely fantastic! She is indeed fantastic, as she stars with another award-winning favorite of the international cinema. Watch for him. Oscar Banner as Montag. How did it come about? How could someone like you be doing this kind of work? Fahrenheit 451. Co-stars Cyril Cusack, Anton Diffring. What have you got there? Is this your special book? It's got to be burned with the others and you're under arrest. It's brilliantly directed by Francois Truffaut, one of the leading young talents in world cinema. Calling all citizens. Wanted for murder, Montag. Occupation, fireman. Fahrenheit 451 is the film everyone will be talking about for its originality of treatment. Fahrenheit 451, the film of tomorrow, with the big stars of today. Julie Christie and Oscar Venner. This is the greatest moment of your lives. There it is, directly ahead. A body of land uplifted by volcanic eruption a hundred million years ago. The land where monsters live. Yes, you're heading out of this world. By jet airliner. By hydroplane. By helicopter into the wildest of all jungles, into the forbidding headwaters of the Amazon. With Michael Rennie, Jill St. John, David Hedison, Claude Rains, Fernando Lamas, and Frosty the Poodle, as they discover a primitive world exactly the way it was at the dawn of time in the most fantastic of adventure stories. For me, the story started three years ago when Burton White came to me. He told me of how in some Indian village out here in the jungle, he'd met a fever-stricken white man who babbled on about a plateau with monsters and diamonds. Here is the most amazing of all possible worlds. Oh! Oh! Daddy! You'll see man-eating vines that lure their prey, spiders as tall as trees, oh! hair-raising attack by prehistoric monsters, Battle of the Titans to the death. The most terrible creatures of destruction that ever walked the earth.
you'll flee through grotesque underground mazes from cannibals who demand human sacrifice. Sacrifice? The place they undoubtedly plan to kill you. No, not me, please, go! You'll be among the first mortals to cross the graveyard of the damned. You'll scale the incredible wall of death. You'll face the terrors of the Cave of Fire with its lake of molten lava, its fabulous pyramid of diamonds. And you'll be stunned by the horrifying 100-foot fire monster that guards a king's ransom in treasure. You'd do better here than in Pebble Beach. It's a monster! Oh, no, this is the biggest monster I have ever seen. <laughs> if we had enough money, you'd be able to see it too. Well, into the fray I go, and this rat face separates the men from the bat. Charge. Take that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And that. Artie, what's happened? so big. Well, stop staring and get me something to wear. Do you still love me? From the tip of your toes to the top of your head. Giants! Giants! there by sundown. And please, Lord, don't let the Pentagon find out about this. Can't rule out invasion from space. All right. All orders top secret. Little old me isn't too much woman for little old you, is she? Lady, if you were triplets, you wouldn't know what too much woman is for little old me. Jackie! You leave my husband alone! <laughs> This is just the beginning of the wildest, weirdest adventure you've ever seen. I don't care for playing fair, I'm not the sharing kind. Now, anything goes. And everything grows. And this is where the fun really began. I wonder if this makes everything grow. Hey, will you cut it out and leave it alone, huh? Listen, Freddy boy, if I want to try some of this stuff, just don't you try and stop me, understand? And try it, they did. Sheriff, we are going to take over this town. Now, first of all, there's going to be a nine o'clock curfew for all adults. It's wild. It's way out. It's Village of the Giants.
whether you like it or not, little man, we're just gonna have to show you what's good for you, that's all. Maybe we don't like your club either. You're in it anyway. See what happens when young rebels explode <clears throat> 30 feet tall. Village of the Giants. a girl who loved a man, a man who in a flash became a living threat to humanity, a danger so awe-inspiring that they tried to hide his existence from the world. What happened? What made him grow? Glenn Manning is growing from 8 to 10 feet a day. The moment, he's 18 feet tall. Tomorrow, he'll be 26 feet. The next day, 35, maybe 40, and the next day... But you've got to stop it! I don't want to grow anymore! Day and night, scientists search, trying every experiment their brilliant minds can conceive. Finding the expected, the unexpected, and the shocking. For the immeasurable power of this ever-growing mammoth portends a fate that terrifies the universe. Drive it in hard. We have to penetrate the bone in the first ejection. Ready? Look out! He's reaching down! We want to help you to get well. Manning's disappeared, Eric. We can't find him anywhere on the grounds. Police Chief Benson has asked me to tell you to stay in your homes. Stay in your homes. A man once loved by a woman, now feared by the whole world. A 60-foot giant in the streets of Las Vegas. I was out there fighting, <laughs> Igor fixed up the ship. I've been working my bat off while you were playing with that monster. You call that playing, Igor? You know, you think it was easy to put a headlock on that thing? Why, it was bigger than Godzilla, Gidra, and Repilicus put together. And that buster is big! Buried within the uncharted depths of waters surrounding a group of islands off the 50th parallel lies man's most formidable challenge. The awesome awakening of prehistoric monsters long thought extinct. Giant against giant. The ultimate battle. Godzilla versus Megalon. Science was baffled and powerless. A terror-stricken humanity knew that it was on the brink of total destruction. A once proud civilization now had to place its trust and hope in Godzilla. Now came the moment of the truth. The ultimate battle. Giant against giant in a duel to the death. To see it all in Godzilla versus Megalon. screen has ever shown before can surpass the thrills of Ghidra, the three-headed monster. Created from an atomic fireball hurled from outer space, Ghidra, the three-headed monster, threatens man's very existence on Earth. Ghidra, 
the three-headed monster battles Godzilla, Mothra, and Rodan for mastery of the world. Men quake before the terror of their unleashed fury. All new, all never to be forgotten, a new high in screen terror. When modern Navy scientists defy the unknown mysteries of the past, perpetuated by centuries of native belief, then nature strikes in all its vengeance in Barath, the unbelievable. For generations, the legend was passed on. They said Baran was there, deep in the still waters. They said, let Baran sleep. That lake water is going to be contaminated after we finish the tests. It'll probably affect the fish, too. We just can't take any chances. But those people have depended on their lake for their livelihood all their lives. And their parents before them. Anna, now should we be this concerned about a handful of people when we might perfect something that could benefit all mankind? Hmm? All right, Jim. The Navy commander would not heed their warning. He moved forward, ever searching, ever probing, deeper and deeper, until it was too late. Baran rose from the depths slowly, unrelentingly, to wreak its vengeance on a civilization that wanted to know too much. Tumultuous. Terrifying. Awesome, it will shock you to the core. Buran, the unbelievable. It's a piece of skin, like leather. From all corners of the earth, they gather to study the mystifying frozen fossil, a reptilian tail that grows into a giant of terror. It's alive! It's loose! You have been invited here to see for yourselves one of the most amazing events in the annals of scientific history. Reptilicus, a monstrous massive beast whose astounding appearance causes panic. Approaching the city. Repeat, Reptilicus approaching the city. This is Grayson. All units. Fire at will. Reptilicus, an annihilating mastodon, immune to all known weapons of warfare creating chaos such as mankind has never before known. like you did a good job on the ship, Igor. Now, let's take off. Of course I did a good job. What do you think I am? Don't ask. You know, you can be replaced, Igor. <laughs> now, we're getting off. Watch this and see. <laughs> devastating device the mind of man has yet created. It travels on land and in the sea. It tunnels through the earth. Its crew, all supermen with super weapons, can freeze their enemies and enslave them. Fire and fear 
are the gods of terror on the hidden continent. No thing, no man, no adventure can match the nine amazing wonders of Atragon, nor the massive powers of its allegoric destroyer. You will see wonders that challenge the imagination. The threatened attack has begun. The United Nations has set up a defense headquarters to cope with the new empire's aggression. You will see flying saucers. You will know terror that panics the world. Admiral Kusumi, I am agent number 23 of the Mu Empire. This earthquake is not accidental. of the humanoids. Out of the atomic war came the perfect man, the humanoids, man's own creation. Physically and mentally perfect. Created to serve their masters. Men and women. But could man compete with this creation, the perfect man? You love that that machine? I love Pax. He's dedicated to keeping me happy. And I am happy. The robots are machines. They must be made to look like machines. The perfect man, created by man, becomes man's worst enemy. Pussy! The most provocative story ever filmed. The most unusual story ever filmed. You must see it to believe it. The creation of the humanoids. The perfect man. Boy, I sure worked up an appetite, Igor. Did you bring my favorite food? Sure did, Grandpa. The scream of tomato soup and the nectarines. Oh, good, good, good. What, what's happened to my voice? It must be a force field. It is, it's a force field. Now, what, what would it be like to always have a funny voice? I know, Grandpa. <laughs> Why, you, if I was less wet, was I? The Flaming Countdown, as mankind fights for survival when an enemy world hurtles toward a doomed Earth in all of worlds. Our spaceships are decimated when the invading planet's insurmountable pull of gravity begins a shattering cosmic destruction. Only one scientific mind can stop the stellar holocaust. Your days are numbered. I prefer that you speak before the United Commission. He alone knows there are only 80 days to live, and he must convince the world of this threatening catastrophe. Can he find the formula that will save the Earth? Feel the torment of desperate passions as men and women live the last panic-filled hours of love in history's final chapter. Heroic astronauts brave the cold and lifeless void of space as they prepare for battle when the enemy's super-electronic brain launches a surprise attack of its awesome flying saucers. They're overtaking us! They're overtaking us! We must maneuver freely. But to win, they must land on the foreboding crust of the hostile and destroy forever the soulless power of its monstrous hidden brain. Starring Claude Rains in his most challenging role. Watch out, Eve! A prophetic motion picture, five years in the making. Flying saucer.
disruptors have invaded our planet. Washington, London, Paris, Moscow are key targets. The whole world is under attack. Can it survive? disintegrated solar system. At this moment, the remainder of our fleet is circling your globe. What do you want with me? Arrange for your world leaders to confer with us in the city of Washington. They set up an electronic screen. The artillery doesn't penetrate. Never before has the screen reached such heights of excitement. Breathtaking spectacle. Hair-raising terror. See the saucer men's high-frequency disintegrators. See flying saucers travel thousands of miles in seconds. See great cities leveled by flying saucer monsters. Ross, look. It's the same kind of thing that's watched us since the beginning of the project. People of Earth, attention. People of Earth, attention. This is a voice speaking to you from thousands of miles beyond your planet. They're coming down to take over. They made that clear to us in the saucer. To the best of our knowledge, my wife and I are the only ones left alive. two of you are beginning a strange journey, a journey that no Earth people have ever undertaken before. Universal International presents the most startling, the most imaginative and suspenseful science fiction drama ever brought to the screen. You'll marvel at the superior intelligence that unleashes its deadly ray. Dave! Or can kidnap an airplane in flight. Prisoners hurtling through endless space, speeding toward the unearthly furies of a planet gone mad. See sights never before dreamed by man. The battle between guided meteors and deadly rays. They're gonna hit us! They're gonna hit us! A planet doomed to destruction. while captive Earth people fight for their lives. It is indeed typical that you Earth people refuse to believe in the superiority of any world but your own. Run, me, run! Your voice is back! Well, of course my voice is back. <laughs> I was able to break through the force field with my magnetic personality. <laughs> now, if you've recovered yourself completely, we had better re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and get home. All ready, Grandpa? Well, thank you for being ready. <laughs> now, let's re-enter now. Get ready to start the breaking procedure, Igor. Break? What breaks, Grandpa? What do you mean, what breaks? What do you mean, what breaks? I told you to bring the brakes! I don't understand why I use you as a copilot. Ah! 
Drew Pearson. We bring you this special radio television broadcast in order to give you the very latest information on an amazing phenomenon. The arrival of a space ship in Washington. The Army has taken every precaution to meet any emergency which may develop. Just a minute, ladies and gentlemen, I think something is happening. <laughs> But if you threaten to extend your violence, this earth of yours will be reduced to a burned out cinder. But he's a robot. Without you, what could he do? There's no limit to what he could do. He could destroy the earth. All vehicles, close in. Let's go. It's over in his place. You gotta come now. Steve, tell us what happened. Well, I'm trying to tell you. Now, this thing had killed the doc. But what was it? Stop with it, kid. Well, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a mass that keeps getting bigger and bigger. It... Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Because soon, very soon, the most horrifying monster menace ever conceived will be oozing into this theater. <laughs> An old man finds it, touches it, and this is the shocking result. From then on, there's no stopping the blob as it spreads from town to town. Teenage Hot Rodders play Paul Revere to spread the alarm. This town is in danger. Now several people... Korea sweeps one city. Before long, the nation, and then the world could fall before the all-consuming threat of... The, the Bob. Starring Steve Queen and a cast of exciting young people. Boy, that was one of the biggest crash landings since the crash of 29. <laughs> Too bad you missed it. Oh, you know, that adventure really took a lot out of me. I guess I am going to take a nap. Me too. Upside down. What do you mean, you too? <laughs> you forgot the brakes? You go and repair the ship. Because we, me and my friends, want to go on another adventure real soon. <laughs> now get to work, bozo. <laughs> oh. Thank <laughs> you. 